Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am finally home and I couldn't be happier to be here. It's been so long since I had a chance to sit at my desk and play a game peacefully, so I am... Um, yeah, I'm quite happy to be here. <laughs> I am sorry for such a long break. I did not expect it. I couldn't prepare in advance, but here we are back in Dragon Age Origins. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, here we are. So last time we left off, we just got out of the uh, werewolf's lair. And we met the, uh, the Lady of the Forest, so that is exciting. She told us that the curse is uh, possible to be lifted. I did not expect to see you here. What are you doing here? Okay. Yeah, doggy, I agree. All right, do I have all of my stuff on? Miasma isn't, so let's fix it. I also need to remember that I actually am using a sword and board right now. So we'll see how that's gonna go. Let's check everyone else and make sure that all of their stuff is is good. Tell me. Liliana is good, you are good. Okay. The dog doesn't have anything else. Alright. <sighs> let's go talk to Zathrian, I suppose. I did not expect him to be here at all. I was under total impression that I would just be able to walk out normally. Did he follow me here? Because that is uh, suspicious a little bit. Hello. Ah, and here you are already. Hello? Sathrian, what are you doing here? You have carved a safe path through the forest. Safe enough for me to follow, anyhow. <laughs> he wishes to see if we did his work for him. Is that not why you were here now, sorcerer? Do not call me that, witch. I am keeper of this clan, and have done what I must. Did you acquire the heart? No. But now I'm wondering if I can have yours. Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> um, I'd rather talk about our deal. Uh, am I misremembering something? I'd rather talk about our deal. Let's check, I suppose. So you wish to play games? I can sense you do not have it. Why are you leaving the ruin? I don't know. Maybe I need to restock. Why are you here judging me? Jesus. So you knew about this ruin. Why didn't you tell me? There was no need. I knew you would find it, and I did not care to give you a history lesson about things that have no bearing on your purpose here. But it seems the spirit convinced you to act on her behalf. Might I inquire what she wants? So you know about the spirit also? I guess that doesn't surprise me. What is it you think she wants? To survive, I suspect. That is the common nature amongst all such creatures. The will to survive. You do understand that she actually is Witherfang? No, she's not. I thought Witherfang was a male wolf. She is the powerful spirit of this ancient forest that I summoned long ago and bound in the body of the wolf. Her nature is that of the forest itself. Beautiful and terrible. Serene and savage. Maiden and beast. She is the lady and Witherfang both. Two sides of a single being. The curse came first from her. Those she afflicted with it mirrored her own nature, becoming savage beast as well as human. I am not buying it based on the other stuff that I have heard. She was there before, according to what I've read or heard. I don't remember, but I know. And supposedly she disappeared once Witherfang came along. So he either bound those two together himself and now blaming it on her, or those are completely two separate things. Or beings, I suppose. Regardless, I'm not buying it. The curse came first from you. 
They attacked my clan, and they were the same savages then that they have ever been. They deserve to be wiped out and not defended. Come, I will accompany you back to the ruin. Let us go and speak to the spirit, and I will force her into Witherfang's form. He may then be slain and the heart taken. I don't like it. I assure you the werewolves have regained their minds. Even so, they are still the same worthless creatures that their ancestors were. They deserve nothing more than the misery they possess. This is not your battle, Grey Warden. Let us just take the heart and be done with it. I understand hating the humans for what their ancestors did to your family, but these are your own people right now. Do you still have so much hatred after all this time? You were not there. You did not see what, what, what they did to my son, to my daughter, and so many others. You are Elven. You know what it is like to have injustice thrown in your face. Their crimes could not go unanswered. But... They were answered. But it's your own people suffering now, as well as them. I have sworn to protect my people, and I shall. I will not lift a finger to help the descendants of savages who deserved the curse they received. So he is for, well, I guess sort of a genocide in a way? So your answer is to let them suffer forever? Tell me, if you held your own daughter's lifeless body in your arms, would you not also have sworn an eternity of pain on those who did such to her? Yes, but only them, not every other human in existence. I might have, but who is being punished now? Very well. You wish me to go and talk? I will do so. But what if it is only more revenge they wish? Will you safeguard me from harm? I will, unless you attack first. Maybe. I don't think it will come to that. Well, actually, I don't. I don't think it will come to that. I fail to see the purpose behind this, but very well. It has been many centuries now. Let us see what the spirit has to say. I'm scared. <laughs> So here you are, spirit. <sighs> she is the lady of the forest! You will address her properly! You are not helping your case. You've taken a name, spirit? And you've given names to your pets? These beasts who follow you? It was they who gave me a name, Zathrian. And the names they take are their own. They follow me because I help them to find who they are. Who they are has not changed from whom their ancestors were. Wild savages. Worthless dogs. Their twisted shape only mirrors their monstrous hearts. He will not help us, lady. It is as I warned you. He is not here to talk. No, I am here to talk, though I see little point in it. We all know where this will lead. Your nature compels it, as does mine. It does not have to be that way. There is room in your heart for compassion, Zathrian. Surely your retribution is spent. My retribution is eternal, spirit, as is my pain. This is justice, no more. Are you certain your pain is the only reason you will not end this curse? Have you told the mortal how it was created? He said he summoned you and bound you to a wolf. I didn't believe it, but that's what he said. And so he did. Witherfang and ah. I are bound as one being, but such powerful magic could not be accomplished without Zathrian's own blood. Is he a blood mage? Some people believe you have rediscovered the immortality of their ancestors, Zathrian, but that is not true. So long as the curse exists, so do you. No! That is oh. not how it is! Interesting. Just how far will you go for your revenge, Zathrian? I did it for my people. I did it for my son and my daughter. For them, for justice, I would do anything. The curse would not end with Zathrian's death. His life, however, relies on its existence. And I believe ah. his death plays a part in its ending. Then we kill him! We tear him apart now! 
For all your powers of speech, you are beasts still. What would you gain from killing me? Only I know how the ritual ends, and I will never do it. Ha! <laughs> you see? We must kill them all! Dude. See? They turn on you as quickly. Do what you have come here to do, Grey Warden, or get out of my way. You end that curse if I have to force you myself. I don't think this is going to end well, but we're, we're gonna go with this. We're standing for what's right here, no matter what. Then you die with them. All of you will suffer as you deserve. Oh, this is not gonna end well at all. Couldn't we all just get along? Uh-huh, I agree with that. Okay. Alright, we got trees. And trees are on his side? Wait. Are they all attacking me? Are you for real? No, they're blue. Witherfang is just a boss. Okay, never mind. But a shade is on his side. Okay. You know what? I think I think we need to attack him. Okay, why don't I maybe paralyze him? I don't think it's gonna work, but maybe. Doggy, go attack him too. Um Lady. You come here. You shoot. And you also go and perhaps shield bash the dude. Shield bash. Uh, I don't think this is gonna work, but we're gonna go with it. No. Okay, now I can go attack him. Love Ooh, I'm not gonna survive this. Because they are all attacking me. Okay. I see. I see how it is. Doggy, are you attacking? Yes, you are. Good. How about you? You already did this. Alright, good girl. You did not use anything on you. Liliana, you need one as well. And maybe go here. I think I need to go here as well. Uh, uh, oh. Help! Uh, I don't want to die! Okay, I don't either. Uh, you know what? I might need just a bigger one. Maybe use this. You can use one as well. But I only have lesser ones, sadly. I should have gone to... <laughs> to town. You right. cannot win! <laughs> He's gonna die. Okay. I got no mana because I'm using all of my mana on my sustainables. Yeah, he's gonna die. I think we're all gonna die. That's okay. We can redo this. I don't have my miasma on, do I? No. <laughs> Liliana, you're not gonna survive this. 
we are so dead. Oh my god, how dumb. Let's end it. Is Zathrian dead? I think he is. Okay, so we did not do this right, quite clearly. They are just standing. I see. Can we maybe run over there? My party is dead. Okay, so we didn't do this right. Hmm. Well, should we try again? I am not even sure if I can do it. I might be too weak or inexperienced, I guess. Maybe let's try to divide and conquer. Maybe let's have Morrigan go over here. Say maybe with Liliana. You can go attack this guy. Dog can help you. And I do not have Miasma on, so I'll go do that as well. I'll do it. <sighs> okay, so after that, let's go attack this guy as well. With those two together. Okay, Liliana, I attack this guy. You can attack him. I hopefully will survive. Okay, now. Okay, Sylvan down. Let's do another. And I am about to die again. We will get through this. It might take a while. Let's finish up this Sylvan. And I need to... Take a health potion. Make it breath. <laughs> These shades are gonna you kill us her. all. Okay, Sylvan number two is down. You are out of potions. Go away. <laughs> Maybe, actually, you might use the bigger one that I found here last time. Okay, who are you attacking? A shade? Maybe let's deal with Bos, or I guess the last Sylvan. Dog, go here. You can probably weaken the shade. And vulnerability hex? No. Weaken. Liliana, go for the tree. Got to go. Coming. Okay. Ooh, you are in trouble, sir. Please don't die. Nope. Ah, shit. We are all in trouble. Okay, okay, okay. That actually went better 
than before, at least. The last tree is down. We can go for the shade. Dog, go for the shade. I will also go for the shade. Where are you? Okay, good. Can you actually transform, maybe? I have never tried it before. Very well. No, right. you're dead. Make a breath. We are. Let's make this quick. Okay, for now. Okay. Not okay. <laughs> Greater? Do I want to? Can I use another one? Let's see. This is the only one I have left. Dog, please continue attacking the shade. I will try to survive. I try to be merciful. <laughs> oh, Liliana is now in trouble. Oh, no, 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 no. How dare you? Only us two left, and probably not for long. Okay, I can heal myself, I think. Okay. That's better than I thought it would be. Let's take a lyrium and dog. Can you have a biscuit? Health and stamina. Why don't you um, eat a biscuit? I can heal myself. Then Dog can probably charge into Zathrian. That's good. That is good. Oh, Doggy. Doggy died. I need to move. No, I can't. Okay. Well, all right. Okay. Well, if I must. Can I? Oh no, that's not good. I'm stuck. Okay. I am completely stuck. What does that do? Takes damage over time, maybe unable to move. Two seconds. I will not survive two seconds. Nope, I think I'm done. <laughs> yep. Hey, we were almost there, actually. I think we can do it again. Okay, okay, okay. I think we are fine. As we were. So maybe let's go over here with you. Morrigan. You should be here. I think. Dog, let's start. Should we start with shades? No, they take longer. We shouldn't. Maybe let's go shield pummel this guy. I should turn on Miasma like before. Can I make more potions? I cannot, can I? Okay. Because I do not have flasks. 
Um, An order. For now. Alistar, go here. Yes. I need to heal myself. Switch weapons and attack. As you desire. <laughs> oh, he's gonna die. There's nothing else I can take, is there? I don't believe so. Maybe I should be putting this on him. Spell and spirit resistance instead of what he currently has. Oh my! Okay. I cannot use anything right now. Oh yeah, we're dead. So what is it that we're not doing right? Because we should be able to do this. I know the zone is hard for me. But it shouldn't be impossible. Let me think on that for a bit. <laughs> Alright, so there are a couple of things that I did. Um, I put... A different necklace on Alistar that gives him more spell resistance. And I gave him a potion of nature resistance. I don't know if this is going to help. But we can try. I also really wonder what is going on with these guys. They're clearly stuck with something. By something. But I'm not quite sure what is actually hitting them or holding them. Um... Maybe let's try to attack this tree instead, since these shades will have some, you know, distance to cover that way. Morrigan, why don't you come here? Same with you, Liliana. And you... Get Miasma on. Hey, they're all so Okay, um, what are you doing? <laughs> Actually, maybe you should spider up. No, you shouldn't, because you are more useful with your spells. Can I heal Cuddle Bear? Lovely. Ah! <laughs> 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 Dog is quickly dead. That is kind of crazy. Ah, oh, that sucks. What am I stunned? Mind blasted. Okay, heal yourself, lady. As you desire. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> oh, this is painful, you guys. Do we do this again? I guess we have to. There's nothing else that we can be doing. <laughs> oh, good lord. Okay. Well, I think going with this tree actually went all right. So maybe we can go charge it. Her turning into a spider did nothing for me. So she should probably just stay where she's at. Maybe we can... weaken it or something. Or no, more so. Let's freeze it. Uh, you... Just stay where you are. Do what you can. Alistar, go shield bash a tree. <laughs> That'll help. <laughs> Make his breath. Okay. Go back. 
Actually, let's go help Liliana. Dog. Go here. That's fine. What? <laughs> Alright, dog. Howl. Okay. Heal myself. Okay, I think the shade is done. Um, let's go for the Sylvan. You are doing God's work, Morrigan. Alistar. Go oh, pummel this one instead. <laughs> I will try to survive. Okay, let's go here, do this, um, maybe let's do growl on you. That's fine, I think. Right. Oh my goodness. Why is this going so much better? I don't get it. Were they just critting like crazy before or something? Maybe. Yes. No mercy. Stop your drooling. Okay. Are we just killing him? No, no more. I... I cannot... cannot defeat you. Finish it! Oh. Kill him now! No! Don't kill him! Please, lady, stop him! No, no Swift Runner. We will not kill him. If there is no room in our hearts for mercy, how may we expect there to be room in his? I cannot do as you ask, spirit. I am too old to know mercy. All I see are the faces of my children, my people. I... I cannot do it. I... oh my gosh, I for a second thought that he, we were just going to kill him and then we'll never see the resolution to this whole thing, so I'm, I'm so happy that this actually went right into a cutscene. You guys have no idea. <laughs> All right, whew. Let's breathe a little bit. I do not understand what went different this time around. Why did everyone survive all of a sudden? There... There must have been something that I did. Or just, you know, the good old rule of random, I suppose. Anyway. Anyway. Let's see. So he is refusing to lift the curse still, even though he just admitted that he cannot defeat me. <sighs> Hasn't this gone on long enough, Sathrian? Perhaps I have lived too long. This hatred in me is like an ancient, gnarled root. It has consumed my soul. What of you, spirit? You are bound to the curse just as I am. Do you not fear your end? You are my maker, Zathrian. You gave me form and consciousness where none existed. I have known pain and love, hope and fear, all the joy that is life. Yet of all things, I desire nothing more than an end. I beg you, maker. Put an end to me. We beg you. Show mercy. What happens to the werewolf without her giving them consciousness? You shame me, spirit. I am an old man. Alive long past his time. Then you will do it? You will end the curse? Yes. I think it is time. 
Let us... Let us put an end to it all. Wow. Oh. It is so strange to see the compassion in the gestures that the werewolves are making. Oh, he just died. Oh. What happens now? It's over. She's gone, and we're human. I can scarcely believe it. Okay, but why aren't there any of them elves? Are these the same humans that were from back then? There's no way. Werewolves are not immortal. There can't be. Okay. Then... I'm assuming that all of the elves back in the Dalish camp are now healthy, I hope. Oh man, that makes me doubly horrified that I killed that lady that was turning into a werewolf. Maybe she could have lived too. I didn't know. <sighs> so what are you going to do now? We'll leave the forest, I suppose. Find other humans, see what's out there for us. It should be quite interesting, don't you think? Thank you. We will never forget you. We're kind of on the brink of a war, so you can help a little, I think. Anyway, I guess we loot. This has been crazy. I am completely out of potions. Well, I was. Now I'm not, actually. I have a couple. Well, all right. What did you- oh, money. Okay. Just one Sylvan? Where'd the other stuff? Oh. Oh. Oh, I just can't pick it up because it fell through the textures. Oh, that's good. I guess I can't even check the shades bodies because there aren't any. Well, let's see. So. Nature of the Beast. Zathrian agreed to speak with the lady and you brought him to her. Zathrian, after years of anger, has finally let go of his hatred. He ended the spell that bound the Lady of the Forest to Witherfang. And with that, ended his own life. Okay, okay, so he, she did exist before. Wait, but does she still? I'm confused. The werewolf curse has been lifted of both the wolves and the elves. It is time to return to the Dalish to tell them of Zathrian's sacrifice. I'm assuming that the spirit of the forest would go back to its previous existence, right? Um, let's go. I hope the Dalish don't hate me, because I essentially got rid of their leader. Not by my own- well, actually, kind of by my own hand. Oh my god, I'm not ready? After such a grueling battle? Trap, right ahead. You better not be the people that I just freed. <laughs> of course there's a trap that you guys won't fall for. Alright, I'm going to Miasma. And we're just gonna stay where we are. Let's finish this. Ah! Oh! oh! 
Okay, let's switch gears. Until he comes back to us. You can continue attacking. You can attack him. And uh, that's fine. Uh, Liliana, why don't you... ...fix this? Before Alistar goes nuts. Like he's currently doing. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was timely. I tried to be merciful. <laughs> Jesus. I was totally on the wrong person. Please don't die on me now if you didn't in the previous battle. Seriously. And so I shall. Let us end this! Blast! Lovely. Oh my god. I am about to die myself. Alright, Alistar. You are doing just fine. Morrigan, um, why don't you... Actually, ah, come with them. Yeah. I... I cannot. I cannot with this. <laughs> oh, no. oh. Ah. I am no. Let's do that. Ah. It's a Do I to look too ah. incompetent? It's oh. embarrassing! Oh. On my way. Unbelievable, you guys. Unbelievable. Oh. Wipe them out. Tear them apart. There you go. Alistar, sir. That's a lot of blood. Yes, and that's a lot of ego that has been just squished out of me. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I never had any. Okay. Well, we got some elf fruits to pick up. Let's see, a bandit, and a bunch of injuries to heal, actually. Doggy, eat this. Because you were injured. Because I am an irresponsible owner. Oh, where does this go? Oh, that's my exit. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Man. You better not ambush me again. I should go back to those gravestones, but not now. I'm not ready. You know, it's funny how you can go through almost all of the FromSoft games and learn them just fine. And something like this just leaves me stumped. <laughs> really, really embarrassing, not gonna lie. Now, let's hope that the Dalish are not gonna be mad at me. Really, really hope. It is done. Zathrian has banished all traces of cursed blood from the Hunters. It is too bad that Zathrian had to die. I... I felt it when he departed. I think he was ready to go. He was a hero in the end? Ugh. Did you know about his connection to the curse? I suspected. But Zathrian did not like to talk about that. <laughs> you don't Nonetheless, say. Nonetheless, the curse is over, and no one else will be subjected to it. It will be difficult to fill Zathrian's shoes. He was our keeper for many centuries, and he will be sorely missed. How about but you? I am keeper now. 
Let me say it officially, then. I hereby swear to uphold the terms of the ancient contract our people formed with the Grey Wardens. Call, and we shall come, with great speed and purpose, and we shall strike at your foes. This I swear. It would have been kind of nice if the werewolves still were werewolfy, but, you know, conscious, I guess, and fought on our side. Because right now, I wouldn't blame them if they just didn't want to have anything to do with this war. I don't know if they can escape it, per se, but I wouldn't blame them regardless. Thank you, Lanaya. It has been a long time since the Dalish marched to war, but I trust that in the end, we shall make a difference for you. I hope so. Morrigan is leveled up. Level 10 mage. Okay, let's see. So, I don't think she's running out of mana very often just because she doesn't really have a lot of sustained abilities, which is fine. So I kind of think that maybe I should be upping willpower for her almost exclusively. Maybe let's put two in there. And one and two magic? I think that makes sense. Oh, I can turn her into something else, too. Well, only into Arcane Warrior, I guess. That's fine. She can turn into a bear. That's interesting. I don't know. I did not find a whole lot of use out of her spider because it was just immediately dismissed. And I don't know if that's something that I was doing that wasn't quite right. But I am not quite inspired by the shapeshifter tree, I guess. Mm, let's make a mage out of her more... I guess... More of a direct mage. Uh, let's see. Petrified, that would be nice. Inferno. I heard that Fireball is apparently extremely OP, so maybe I'll go this way, but I also kind of like the Chain Lightning stuff. Cone of Cold? I'm not very good with cones of anything, to be honest. <laughs> um, Perhaps let's do the Fire Weapon, because some places or some people might be more susceptible to Fire versus Cold. Even though I've been liking cold. She might need paralyzed now that I don't really have a lot of mana for it. Maybe that's what we do. I feel like I'm nearing the point where I need to get that respec mod and change people people up the way that I want them to be. Because now that I'm an arcane warrior with a bazillion sustainabilities that I'm almost always keeping up. I don't really have a lot of mana for much of anything else. And Paralyze is quite expensive. Let's give it to her. And I'll think about respecting. Because I don't know about this one. The Vulnerability Hex. It might be useful. It might not. I, if I could take away a point out of this spider, I think I would. <laughs> Alright, let's go with this. Can I look at this now? Would you let me? Songbook. In Uthanera. Can I... Uh, should I just take it? I'll take it. Wait. In Uthanera. Oh my god, no, I'm not reading that. <laughs> I break my tongue on relatively familiar words. I'm not even going to start with that. Let's see. So, that chest. Maybe Liliana can open it now. Oh, a love letter. That's cool. A collection of embarrassing personal communication between the spoiled wealthy and their objects of obsession. Oh, 
Oh, that again. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> no, thank you. I think we have a lot of stuff to sell, so let's take care of it. We are working hard to make enough equipment for all of the hunters. Our armaments will be superior to anything else you find on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. I am Art. no merchant, but I have plenty that you may need. Thanks. I'll need a lot of that. <laughs> can I get both? I can. Good. Right, let's see. Rock solve. Oh, that's a good one. Decreases movement speed. That might be just fine, to be honest, because if, say, Alistar is tanking, he doesn't really need to move a whole lot. I wish there were, um, I don't know, like bombs or grenades I could throw. That would be nice, too. And maybe there are, I just don't know about it. Okay, let's see. Let's, um, I'll do some selling and I'll get back to you guys in a few seconds. I was hoping he sold some flasks, but he is not selling any, sadly. Shall we go? That's okay. Um, how about Alistar? Um, can't wear any of this. Okay. But this also doesn't really do anything. It's just red steel. Ashen gloves. Now this one is good. Barathorn's armor might be good. I also did not realize that I have this bow. Fallon Din's Reach. But she does not have enough dexterity for it. Oh, and she won't have it for a long time. That's unfortunate. Okay. That's fine. We are good. Is there anything else that I can do here? Are we done? I think we're done. Cyril, are you more friendly to me now? You did it, outsider. You saved us from the ravages of the curse, after all. May the creators bless you, truly. But Zathrian is lost to us, after all these centuries. He died heroically, I hope. <sighs> I believe he did. I would like a happy ending to his tale. He will be a role model for many Dalish children to come. And now, Keeper Lanaya prepares for us to enter into war alongside the humans. I never thought I'd live to see the day. I, for one, look forward to fighting against these darkspawn creatures. Do you now? Let's hope you return and tell us all about them. As for you, outsider, I expect I'll be telling tales about the Grey Warden one day, hmm? I find it interesting that he was training his apprentice, Lanaya, and he had no intention to actually let go of his role as keeper. I kind of wonder if maybe he kind of deep inside his soul suspected that it might be time to deal with this. And I guess I guess we'll never know now. All right. Let's talk to some other people that we know. Elf nurse, what do you say about these people? The hunters are recovering quickly. This is a most joyous day. That's good. That's good news. Wait. God of the craft. I As think you I desire. touched you before. No, I have not. Okay. Good. I don't really want it. Shall we go to our camp and then decide where to go after? We can go talk to Mithra. Let's do that. I understand we will be joining you in battle as soon as the hunters have recovered. I look forward to it. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's go to camp. 
So, let me get this straight. You were a cloistered sister? You must have been a brother before you became a Templar, no? I never actually became a Templar. I was recruited into the Grey Wardens before I took my final vows. Do you ever regret leaving the Chantry? No, never. Do you? Yes. You may yes. not believe it, but I found peace there. The kind of peace I've never known. It used to get so quiet at the monastery that I would start screaming until one of the brothers came running. I, I would tell them that I was just checking. Oh, you never know, right? I... no, I never did anything like that. I enjoyed the quiet. Suit yourself. The look on their face was always priceless. I bet it was. Someone just screeching out of nowhere. <laughs> Alright, camp. And then we can decide where to go next. I think I'm gonna go to... The Blight. How will you end it? Okay. Or we can have this conversation instead. We have to fight the Archdemon. Is that all? It is surrounded by an ocean of darkspawn. How will you reach it? If you reach it, how will you slay it? You say you are a Grey Warden. I have heard stories of this order. Okay. You doubt I'm really a Warden? Great strategists and peerless warriors. That is what we hear of the Wardens. So far, I am not impressed. I don't blame you. I just got into, you know, the order. I'm not here to impress you. Is he gonna get mad at me? I cannot pin him down. Evidently not. It remains only to see what you are here for. <laughs> he likes that. I do not get that, man. Absolutely do not. Alright, Alistar, we have things to talk about. But also, how about these guys? If there's anything I can do for you, please, please, tell me. Ooh. Hmm. I suppose since you told me about you being a Grey Warden, it's only fitting for me to be as open. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Okay. Why did you leave? One day, a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. Touchy? Were they his? What happened then? Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I had been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The lost tigs. Oh. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. Okay, so they found the bracers. I wonder if it was possible to find the owner. The noblewoman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's bracers. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Okay. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never looked back. And now here you are. Yes, here I am. Now... Is there anything the boy or I can get you? Um, let me see your I'm wares. sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Of course. Oh my god, health potions. Yes. Thank you. But also flasks. <laughs> what are these? One point to spend on a talent or spell, but is rendered useless afterwards. For 22? Damn, that's half my money. Do you... Yes, you have it. Awesome. 
Thank you. Wait. Is Alistar a Templar already? Chastity belt? <laughs> Whom would I give that to? Okay. You know what? Uh, that reminds me, I should probably sell all the gifts that I got from him. Just so they can stay where they are. And not that. Okay. That should be here, right? It, it's here? Well, I suppose I'm almost out of health potions. So, lessers, I can make myself. Assuming I have the flasks. Which, can I... Um, let's do 20, I guess. How many of the lessers can I make? Alright, so that's 10. <laughs> An achievement. I should probably maybe up that so I can make better ones. But also, I want to buy more. You and your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. Indeed. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected. And with your discount. Okay, so I don't need the lessers. But I can use these. Are you really selling only two? That's upsetting. Hopefully his... stash... restores? But that's better than nothing. Three and two and ten. Okay, um... Let's talk to our brethren. Should we start with you, lady? I await your command. You suffered quite a bit under my command. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't wait for it. Um, I'd like to ask you something. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> yes. Uh, have you ever been hunted by the Chantry? My mother has been hunted from time to time, yes. By Templar fools like Alistair, which should tell you how successful they generally were. Flemeth made a bit of a game of it, in fact. The Templars would come again, and she would look at me and smile and say that the fun was to begin once more. <laughs> she would, wouldn't she? Uh, you really had no trouble with them. I feel sorry for the Templars. <laughs> they came with as much swagger and arrogance as they did self-righteousness. Pity them if you wish, for they held none for us. Oh. Flemeth would warn them once. It was a warning they inevitably failed to heed. And then the true game began. Often Flemeth would use me as bait. <laughs> a little girl to scream and run and lure the Templars deeper into the wilds and to their doom. <laughs> She was kind of like a spirit of the forest herself, wasn't she? You know, those trickster ones that kind of lure you into the depth of the forest and leave you there to find your way back, and you never do? <laughs> anyway, did you actually kill them all? No, Flemeth used to use bait. It was a game, and I a young girl. If I didn't get to play, I would have been very upset. Thankfully, the wilds is a vast place. Once they found us, Flemeth would simply move us elsewhere and we would be lost within the forest once again. I did not understand the danger we faced until I was much older. I had never heard of apostates or maleficarum. Of course. Do you still think that was fun? I think that my mother made it fun so that a child did not learn to fear. And I think that it was necessary. There are no trials for apostates, no prisons, no mercy. There are only absolutes, so only survival matters. If the wilds have taught me anything, tis this. First, you must survive. Do you disagree? No, I don't. There are worse things than death. Oh? I would ask what exactly, but I'm certain that would be a lengthy conversation, and suddenly I grow very weary. Enough of this talk, let us return to the task at hand. She hated it! She really did! Why? I do not understand! I await your command. Ah, uh, 
something personal. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Why are you still here? No. I await your command. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> um, are you really Flemeth's daughter? I think that's a dangerous conversation that she'll probably hate. So, did you grow up in the Kokari wilds? Why do you ask me such questions? I do not probe you for pointless information, do I? No, you don't. You could. <laughs> you could if you wanted to. She probably doesn't. <laughs> oh, what luck. What is it you asked if I grew up in the wilds? A curious question. Where else would you picture me? For many years it was simply Flemeth and I. The wilds and its creatures were more real to me than Flemeth's tales of the world of man. In time I grew curious. I left the wilds to explore what lay beyond, never for long. Brief forays into a civilized wilderness. Interesting. And you remained unnoticed? For the most part. Flemeth taught me well. For all that I had been taught, however, the truth of the civilized lands proved to be... overwhelming. I was unfamiliar with so much. So confident and bold was I, yet there was much that Flemeth could never have prepared me for. It's true. Very daring, that sounds like you. <laughs> Equal parts daring and foolhardy, perhaps. Only once was I accused of being a witch of the wilds, and that by a chastened who happened to be traveling with a merchant caravan. He pointed and gasped, and began shouting in his strange language, and most assumed he was casting some curse upon me. I acted the terrified girl, and naturally, he was arrested. <laughs> uh, that was quick thinking. Men are always willing to believe two things about a woman. One, that she is weak, and two, that she finds him attractive. I played the weakling and battered my eyelashes at the captain of the guard. <laughs> Child's play. The point being that I was able to move through human lands fairly easily. Whatever humans think a witch of the wild looks like, tis not I. Not that I did not have trouble. There are things about human society which have always puzzled me, such as the touching. Why all the touching for a simple greeting? <laughs> you know, sometimes I wonder the same. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm not human. Do not speak to me of trivialities. Your culture is not so entirely different. She'll hate this. There were many nuances that Flemeth could never tell me of. When to look into another's eyes, how to eat at a table, how to bargain without offending, none of these things I knew. I still do not understand it all, truth be told, but then I gave up long ago any hope of doing so. When I returned to the wilds last, I swore to Flemeth that I had no intention of leaving again. Ah, interesting. Yet here you are. You can go back if you like. No, here you are. Yes, here I am. Well, let's get on with it before the ground opens up and swallows us, yes? She did like that, at least partially. Okay, well, I didn't, I guess, lose all of my standing with her, thankfully. Who are you? What? You witnessed the rarest of things, Warden. The Dalish stand ready to defend Ferelden. What are you doing? We have assembled on a short schedule. Certain factors of equipment could be better. Crafting components would serve best. Basic ones like elf root and deep mushroom. Okay. I... I have a good number of that. Just, it helps that they're everywhere. Doggy! Trying to find a way through the earth, are we? <laughs> My dog tries to do that too sometimes. Except I have to stop him because he will destroy my entire yard. It's going to take some time, you know? <laughs> Good luck with that then. <laughs> I was just thinking about what happened to the elves and I am reminded of a song sung to me many years ago. It was when my mother died. And this wise elven woman comforted me, 
and told me that we shouldn't fear death or hate it. Death is just another beginning. One day, we must all shed our earthly bodies to allow our spirits to fly free. That's a nice thought. That's comforting. It's a beautiful sentiment, I think. One that brings peace and hope to the grieving. What is happening? That was beautiful. Are you going to say anything about it? Something I can help with? I'd like to talk to yes? you about something. What's on your mind? Why Why did you decide to come to Ferelden? My mother was from Denerim, and I consider myself a Ferelden. Mother served an Orlesian noblewoman who lived here when Orle ruled. When Ole was defeated, and the common folk began to resent the presence of any Orlesian, the lady returned to Ole. She took my mother with her. I was born in Ole, and did not set foot in Ferelden until much later. Mother was always telling me stories of her homeland. I think she missed it. I bet she did. What happened to your mother? Mother died when I was very young. Lady Cecily let me stay with her. I had no one else. She was Cecily. quite old then and she had me study music and dance to entertain her. It is unfair that I have more memories of Cecily than my mother. It is. What was Cecily like? She was an elderly lady, very refined and proper. She had impeccable manners and taste, more so than a lot of Olesian ladies. Cecily was also kind. My mother was unmarried and with child. It was scandalous, and Cecily had every right to turn my mother out. She didn't. Strangely, the only thing I really remember of Mother was her scent. She kept dried flowers in her closet amongst her clothes. Small white Ferelden wildflowers with a sweet fragrance. Mother called them Andraste's Grace. They were very rare in Orle. But enough about that. Let us move on. I know what she would like. I have one of these. Or did I sell it? Was it one of those free ones? No, it's here. Can I give it to her? Is it a bad idea? Mm, flowers? Oh, thank you. They're very pretty. 
These are your mother's flowers, aren't they? These were her favorite. <sighs> I haven't seen these in such a long time. They smell just like mother used to. Thank you. Thank you so much for remembering. Oh. 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 Oh, hello. That did something. Moderate cunning. Okay, that's cool. So she's got... 22 now. Okay. Very nice. Can I see... Um... Their relationship with me? Approval press 64. I suppose that's good? 57. So she's lower than Morrigan. And Alistar is all over the place. <laughs> Cuddle bear is friendly. I think it's time to talk to Alistar. Let's discuss our um, flaming adventure. Here, look at this. Do you know what this is? That's a rose. Your new weapon of choice. <laughs> is he gonna hate it? Oh man, I know he was all jokester, but I don't know if he's different now that after that scene, you know? Your new weapon of choice, I'm going with this. Yes, that's right. Watch as I thrash our enemies with the mighty power of floral arrangements. Feel my thorns, dark spawn. Ah, I will overpower you with my rosy <laughs> scent. <sighs> or, you know, it could just be a rose. I know that's pretty dull in comparison. <laughs> Sentiment can be a pretty potent weapon. Is it that easy to see right through me? Huh. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I picked it in loathering. I remember thinking, how could something so beautiful exist in a place with so much despair and ugliness? I probably should have left it alone, but I couldn't. A darkspawn would come, and their taint would just destroy it. So I've had it ever since. And what do you intend to do with it? I thought that I might give it to you, actually. In a lot of ways, I think the same thing when I look at you. Thank you, Alistar. That's a lovely thought. I'm glad you like it. I was just thinking... Here I am, doing all this complaining, and you haven't exactly been having a good time of it yourself. You've had none of the good experience of being a Grey Warden since you're joining. Not a word of thanks or congratulations. It's all been death and fighting and tragedy. I thought maybe I could say something. Tell you what a rare and wonderful thing you are to find amidst all this darkness. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, these some of these answers are ridiculous. Uh I think I think we're going to continue this. I feel the same way about you. I'm glad you like it. Now, if we could move right on past this awkward embarrassing stage and get right to the steamy bits, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Sounds good. Off with the armor then. <laughs> <laughs> Bluff called. Damn, she saw right through me. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> you're so cute when you're bashful. I'll be... <clears throat> I'll be standing over here until the blushing stops. Just to be uh, safe. You know how it is. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's adorable. That's adorable. <laughs> All right, so let's see where we can go next. Okay, um, I'm gonna try and pick Cuddle Bear just to see if I can level him up, and I will probably pop right back into camp to switch it back up to how I want it. So yes. let's do you and you. Indeed. I might be... Oh no. Destroyed by Darkspawn. Oh, man. There we go. Redcliffe Village. 
We're going right through the destroyed village. That is so sad. Can't pop back into town. Sadly. I bring word, sire. There are demands from the Banorn that you step down from the Regency. They are said to be gathering their forces, as are your allies. It appears it will be civil war after all, despite the Darkspawn. Pity. I also have an interesting report. There seem to be Grey Wardens who survived Ostagar. How, I don't know. But they will act against you. I have arranged for a, a solution, with your leave. The Antivan Crows send their regards. Oh my. An assassin. Against Grey Wardens, we will need the very best. <laughs> <laughs> and the most expensive. Just get it done. Okay, we're just gonna continue with the killing. Cool. Please don't tell me this is the encounter that I'm currently about to have. Because I did not bring Morrigan the with me. God damn it. I wouldn't be surprised if I can't even... level up the dude. <laughs> I messed myself up. Sadly. Flimsy trap, okay. So, oh, oh, that's not bad. Okay. Um, well, how about I paralyze you before I do everything here? Okay. Alistar, do all of your things. Liliana. Right ahead. Light ourselves. I shall. Trap. So many traps. Okay, you put this on. And Ah, sure. Let's go attack him. Might as well. I am dead. That is brilliant. Why, Alistar? Can you please? At least you did all of the stuff that you wanted. Okay. All right, Liliana, please. You can get charged. Oh, wait. You? Charge. <laughs> and you? Yeah, that's fine. Make it breath. Let's have at it! Burn Oof. Not doing too stellar. Okay, Liliana. You can't use this. Okay, that's fine. together Trap right ahead thanks <laughs> can we go back to my poor corpse off I go thank you <laughs> Trap right oh, ahead. oh they didn't even let me of do course. anything
Doggy, you can level up. That's good. All right. You can get more constitution. I wouldn't mind it if you do. Uh, should you have more strength? I think you should have more strength. Perfect. Okay. Uh, combat training. I like that. I like this a lot. Well, okay. It wasn't for naught. I just need to use an injury kit on myself now. <laughs> because I have a cracked skull. <laughs> Pet cuddle bear. <laughs> cuddle bear, you did so good. I do not know what to do with these. Well, all right. Anything else? Oh my goodness. return path that's all i oh, i can go there too i think we should disarm all of these just to get experience so one second and i'll be done all right let's level you up missy so you can use more of that and Cunning is good for you, right? Let's do it. Okay, now. Do I go for more combat training? Let's... Let's go for that. Combat training is good. Distraction, Song of Courage. That sounds really good. Let's do it. Okay. Come hither. Whoa, not that fast. <laughs> oh, man. Continue going. I should head back to camp, though, so I can switch the dog over for someone else. I wonder what would happen if I used the dog whistle. While the dog is currently Look, in the party. can we talk for a moment? I need to tell you something. I um, should probably have told you earlier. What is it? You're an idiot. <laughs> What's on your mind? I told you before how Al Eamon raised me, right? That my mother was a serving girl at the castle and he took me in? The reason he did that was because... Well, because my father was King Marek. Which made Kaelin my... Half-brother, I suppose. That kind of makes a lot of sense, but oh my god, must that have been awkward. You don't think you might have told me this before? How? When would I say that? Oh, by the way, King Merrick had sex with a servant and she produced a bastard son. That's me. I, I would have told you, but it never really meant anything to me. I was inconvenient, a possible threat to Kaelin's rule, and so they kept me secret. I've never talked about it to anyone. Everyone who knew either resented me for it or they coddled me. Even Duncan kept me out of the fighting because of it. I didn't want you to know as long as possible. I'm sorry. Hmm. Does Logan know? Why wouldn't he? He was King Marek's best friend. I don't know if that means anything, though. I certainly never considered the idea that it might ever be important. At any rate, that's it. That's what I had to tell you. I thought you should know about it. You're the heir to the throne, then. Is that how it would work? Even though he is a bastard son? Let's hope not. I'm the son of a commoner and a Grey Warden to boot. It was made very clear to me early on that there was no room for me raising any rebellions or such nonsense. And that's fine by me. No, if there's an heir to be found, it's Al Eamon himself. He's not of royal blood, but he is Kaelin's uncle, and more importantly, very popular with the people. Though, if he's really as sick as we've heard... Oh, no, I, I, I don't want to think about that. I really don't. So there you have it. Now can we move on? And I'll just pretend you still think I'm some nobody who was too lucky to die with the rest of the Grey Wardens. <laughs> 
that's really going to annoy him if I say, as you command, my prince. I'm going to say it. This is too good. Oh, lovely. I'm going to regret this. Somehow I just know it. <laughs> Did he hate it? Oh, he didn't say anything about it. All right, now back, back. You, Indeed. you, Indeed. and you. Yes. That works. Uh, back to Redcliffe. Okay, that was painless. And the dog is here again. That's awesome. Okay. All right. Sweet. All right, guys, I am going to end this here. And um, I know we didn't move forward a whole lot, but I still feel like that last leg of the quest with the werewolves was quite significant and <laughs> left quite an impression on me. I don't really know how to feel about it. I feel like if I just sided with the Dalish, it would have left them stronger because Zathrian would have st still been alive and he has centuries of knowledge. Granted, I don't know if um, dealing with the curse the way he wanted to would have had any negative effects on him. Like, I don't know if that would have killed him because they were talking about how the life of the curse is connected to his life. So it's possible that by killing Witherfang, he would have been affected as well. So maybe we would have just ended up in the same situation to begin with. Who knows? I feel the same way about siding with the werewolves, honestly, because, um, well, basically for the same reasons. Because if I kill Zathrian, it, she said it wouldn't end the curse, but it's a step towards it. So uh, I feel like the outcome that I reached with lots of blood and tears is the best one. Uh, do let me know if that's not the case without too much detail, if possible at all. If not possible, then it's fine. <laughs> I guess I'll find out next time I play. But here we are. We have the Dalish with a new leader on our side. The spirit of the forest is seemingly gone. And we are on our way to, well, I guess the Arl of Redcliffe. I am a little surprised, but also a little not really surprised to find out that Alistar is uh, kind of a c crown prince, even though he is a bastard. It was um, a little too suspicious that the maid was just randomly pregnant with no father in sight. That's usually how it goes with bastard children's. Children's? Children. <laughs> So uh, here we are. I'm really curious about how the conversation with the Arl is going to go, assuming he is alive. I don't know if he is. And I cannot stop being disappointed in Loghain. It's embarrassing. <laughs> but I suppose once you are on the path like that, it's really hard to turn back or even to the side. So again, not terribly surprising, but I'm interested to see how it resolves, as always. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, I apologize for the long break. I had some family issues that I needed to take care of. And uh, if you did enjoy it, please consider leaving me a like and subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.